The function R of X represents the radius of a circle for a given area X. A graph of the function is shown in the figure. Okay, so here's our graph. Can y'all see our graph? According to the graph, what is the approximate rate of change? Now, I'm going to stop right there, and I want you to tell me what another word for average rate of change is. What is it? Yeah, slope. Anytime you see those words, rate of change, say it. Rate of change. That means slope. Okay? Slope. Say slope. Slope. Okay, so basically what we're doing is calculating the slope, but let's see where they want us to calculate it. Because this is a curve, so the slope is not the same everywhere on this curve. Okay, now it says in the radius of the circle as the area increases from 3 feet to 7 what? Feet. So they want me to go, they want me to tell what the average slope is from 3 to 7, right? From 3 to what? So let's figure out what this point is. This is the point 3 what? One. Say it. Three. One. So I'm going to write that point down. Y'all write the point down. Three. One. And then let's look at the other point. The other point is seven and what? 1.5. So let's write that point. Seven. 1.5. And so now all we have to do is calculate the slope. That's all we have to do. So the slope formula is slope. Lowercase m means slope equals y2, and that's not y squared, that just means the second y, minus the first y, over the second x, minus the first x. Okay, so the, the most important thing right here is that you label your points, right? Now you know that this is x, and that this is y, and that this is x, and that this is y, right? So since 3 is the first x, I'm going to call it x what? 1 and y 1. No, I shouldn't call it 2. I wrote 2. I don't know why I wrote 2. If this is x1, then this has to be y1. And then this is x2 and y2, right? And so all that means is this is the first x and this is the first y. And this is the second x and this is the second y. Now we'll just plug them into the formula. And so my slope equals y2, which is 1.5 minus y1, which is 1, over x2, which is 7, minus x1, which is 3. And so I have 0.5 over 4. And what is 0. 0.5 over 4? Huh? 0. 0.125. 0. 0.125? Mm -hmm. And so the answer is the average rate of change from 3 to 7 in that range is A, 0. 0.125 foot per square foot.